Welcome to this edition of Talk With Taz Live. Have you ever been confronted with a dilemma of your own making? Meaning you've received the answer to your prayers, but you're still stuck in prayer mode. Wait for it. Some may say, oh no, I got my blessing. I'm throwing up the deuces. But the real truth is if we are honest with ourselves, sometimes when the blessing comes, we're slow to respond. All the big talk has ended and now it's time for action, but we're still sometimes all talk and no action. The question is what keeps us from walking through the door? We finally got our door open and it's a door of opportunity, but we don't wanna walk through the door. Is it the fear of the unknown? I don't know what to expect with this new person, this new job. Um, fear about our competency. Uh, maybe I don't have the skills to do the job, you know. Maybe I'm too old to learn something new. Fear of change. Oh, I'm comfortable where I am. This is just not a good time for me to uproot my family and for us to start over. You know, my kids have got their routine, so this is just not a good time. Perhaps it's the fear of failure. What if I can't do the job? I just can't do the job. The funny thing about blessings or open doors is they don't stay open long. You know, when a door opens, you either walk through it or the door closes. Sometimes we wait and we walk through the door, but it's closing as we're walking through. Now, I know I'm not the only one that's been to Target or Walmart and you know, for some reason you get to the door and it doesn't open or you get to the door and you stop, the door has opened. And then when you start to walk again, the door is closing with such our opportunities in life, we can sit on the sidelines too long and miss our opportunity. But when God opens a door for us, it is a door that man cannot close. So if he's opened the door for us, we can rest assured that when we walk through the door, he is already prepared for us to be fruitful in the new environment. It may look strange or, you know, impossible in the natural, but don't worry. God told Joshua to walk around the Jericho wall for seven days, carrying the ark, God's ark with seven priests blowing the trumpets, and then with the guards protecting the ark. They walked around Jericho one day, the first day, they did it one time. The second day, they did it one time. The third day, they walked again one time. The fourth day, they walked around the walls. The fifth day, they walked around the wall. On the sixth day, they walked around the wall. Now, people looking at them probably were thinking, what are these people doing? And even some of them in the midst were probably a little anxious because they didn't understand why they were walking around this wall for Jericho that God has already said he's going to deliver Jericho to them. But on that seventh day, they got up early and they walked around that wall carrying the ark, blowing the trumpets, not one time not two times, not three times, not four times, not five times, hear me now, not six times, but they walked around that wall seven times. And then Joshua shouted, and then the city was delivered to them. So you may say, okay, I, don't, I still don't get it, Dr. Todd. What are you trying to get me to understand? What I'm trying to get you to understand is Face everything and rise. That's what fear is. Face everything and rise. And when God has opened a door for you, I want you to understand you're already walking in victory, not just for victor. Okay? You're walking in victory, not just for victor. God has already prepared the way for you. You overcome the unknown, that anxiety by faith. Your obedience is a test of your faith. Our faith grows through patience with God's uh, patience and challenge because we have to be challenged in order for our faith to grow. So through faith and then patience, 
God's people's faith grows as we inherit the promises. The other thing I want you to remember is after you have received the victory in the natural, understand it was won in the supernatural. I'm not talking hocus pocus. I'm talking about divine. Because God is a spiritual being. And so we are victorious through him. So again, if he has opened a door for you that you have been praying for, you've been fasting for it, it's here, or you know it's coming, when it comes, don't be slowful, as the folks would say in the South, because I know that some people won't get it, but don't be slowful. Don't be slow. Get up, walk through it. Yes, you're going to have some fears. But fear means face everything and rise. Do it. You can overcome anything because if God opened the door for you, you're already victorious. It's already won. Own it. Walk through him. Understand that he has you and that the victory is already yours and give him the praise. This has been Talk with Todd's Live. I want each of you to go out and make it a great, great day taking care of you. And remember, if you think you're stuck, unstick yourself. Unstick yourself. You guys will get it later. Unstick yourself because God does not put us in sticky situations. All we have to do is keep our hand in his hand and he'll pull us through every time. Have a great day. Until next time, take care of you. Bye.